Okay, so now we're going to do tab six, and tab six is graphs and shifting graphs. So we're going to talk a lot about graphs and what they should look like. And there's lots and lots of different graphs, but in algebra one, the main ones, we're going to talk, first off, we're going to talk about the parent functions. And so the parent functions are, for example, uh, there's the linear one. And that's linear because when you graph it, it's a line. And the parent function equation is y equals x. Um, if it's quadratic, which is the parabola, uh, it's quadratic. And that's like y equals x squared. Uh, then there's the absolute value. And um, absolute value. And that one is y equals the absolute value of x. And then there's cubic. And cubic, obviously, is y equals x to the third. Uh, then there's exponential. And that's like y equals a times b to the x. And in exponential, the exponent is always the variable. And then the last one is the square root. I'll go ahead and draw it like that. And the square root one goes like that. And square root. And that is y equals the absolute value of x. So I guess I probably should have drawn the x and y axes on these but something like that. And in this one, it's something like that. And in this one, it's like this, because the vertex has to be at zero, zero. X, Y, X, Y, X, Y, and X, Y. And then over here in the parabola, the vertex again is at zero, zero and x and y and then in the linear it goes through the origin and then x and then y so uh, those are the parent functions and then you um, go up or down from that so if this said y equals x plus 2 it would be a vertical shift up 2 if this said y equals x squared plus 2 it would be a vertical shift up 2 if this had a plus 2 on the outside of the absolute value, again, it would shift up 2. This one, if it had a plus 2, again, the curve would shift up 2. Exponential, same thing, and square root, same thing. So, um, also don't forget, whenever you're graphing a line, just to go over that real quick, in graphing a line, if you have um, at y equals a number, that's a horizontal line and it has slope of zero. And if you're graphing x equaling a number, any number, um, it's a vertical line, and so and it's vertical, and it's gonna cross the x-axis at whatever number this is, but it's not gonna cross the y-axis, and its slope is undefined. And another name to say that is no slope. Okay, so we're also going to talk a little bit about shifting graphs. So we talked a little bit about it up here, but in uh, the they really like to do it in the parabola. So let's talk about the vertex form of a parabola. So vertex form of a parabola. And in vertex form, it's y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. So it's a parabola where uh, the a value tells you whether it opens up or down and if it's normal uh, skinny which is a vertical stretch or fat which is a, a vertical compression so if the a is positive and it's uh, greater than one it's going to open up and it's going to be skinny and if it's between zero and one, 
it's going to be wider. So this is a vertical stretch, this is a vertical compression. Um, if A is positive, it opens up. If A is negative, A is negative, it opens down. And we always say that positive people are happy, so it looks like a smiley face, and negative people are sad, so it looks like a frowny face. So this would be opens down. Okay, so the A value is very important. So the H value, that is the horizontal shift. So it's horizontal shift. And since it's got the negative sign in front of it, it's kind of the opposite of what you think. So if it said x minus 2, it's going to be shifting to the right 2. And then this right here is the vertical shift. So the vertical shift. So this is outside the parentheses. And the vertical shift is exactly what you think. If it has a plus 2 out here, it's a vertical shift up 2. Um, and so an example would be like if you had y equals negative 4 times the quantity of x plus 1 squared plus 2. So, oh yeah, also h comma k is the vertex. All right, so the negative four tells you it's gonna open down. It's gonna be skinny or a vertical stretch. Um, the horizontal shift is gonna be, so it's a horizontal shift of left one and then a vertical shift of up two. And that's why the vertex itself, excuse me, the vertex is negative one comma two because it went from zero, zero in its parent function and it's gonna shift uh, up two and left one. So it'd be a parabola where the vertex is like right there. Uh, it also works that way in absolute values. So the absolute value graph and transformations um, would be like f of x equals a, and then its absolute value of x minus h plus k. And it works exactly the same way as this one did. The A value tells you whether it opens up or down. It also tells you whether the slope is uh, steep, meaning the slope is greater than one, um, or if the slope is kind of flat, which would mean between zero and one. And then again, H comma K is the vertex of that V looking graph, where this again, is the right or left shift, and this is the up or down shift. And that concludes topic six.